and guess it up. Yeah. <laughs> These are so cute. Oh they gosh. really are. And I picked them out. I picked out the fabric online, and then they and picked out the style I wanted, and uh -huh. they made them. They made them to order. And I'm such a slob. This is definitely the way to start. <laughs> So hi, I'm Kim Clune and this is Amy Berger. She is from Go Pet Friendly. That's a business that travels around the country in an RV with their two dogs, Amy and Rod and her two dogs. And they find pet friendly places all across the country. They use their travel planner, plug in point A, point B, and you will find every place that you can stop with your pets in between. And this is Kim Clune, as she said. She's from This One Wild Life blog. Um, she blogs about her wild animals around here. Who you may see. <laughs> Who you may see appear at any moment. <laughs> We're in Kim's kitchen and we are getting ready to make some treats for the pets. Um, summer weather has arrived, it, the hot temperatures are getting hot, and so we're thinking we're going to make some frozen treats for the dogs and cats. Um, both of us use uh, the Honest Kitchen to feed our dogs. We like that it's human grade, it's antibiotic and hormone free, um, it's typically wild caught or um, responsibly prone raised. So that's where the meat sources come from. Um, so we already feed our dogs force and what are the different flavors that you feed? Too? I feed in bark and love. Um, I stick with the grain free. Um, I have one dog that's uh, our buster is kind of itchy. Well, and that's actually why we chose to use Sparkle today. Um, Sparkle is, excuse me, an herbal supplement for cats and dogs, and it supports healthy skin and skin and coat. Um, for us, that's really important because. With your Buster, he's got itchy skin from environmental issues, we are told, and our Emmett has the same thing. So some of the reviews that we read on the Honest Kitchen website were talking about how this had helped. Yeah, so. other people's pets are clearly seeing benefits from this, and so we're excited to give it a try. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Is, we're going to uh, mix the sparkle with a can of sardines, and then we're going to freeze them into these uh, fun sh paw-shaped Ice, ice cube trays <laughs> and we're going to um, get make little handles out of some treats and then we'll freeze them um, and then when it's hot this afternoon we'll bring them out and let the do dogs and cats have a little snack. And these trays by the way come from the animal rescue site they're so cute but what we figured out is that with herbal supplements you don't ever want to give more than directed and what they're saying for our dogs which um, our dogs are about just around roughly 70 pounds that you want to give about two to two and a quarter teaspoons each of these carries one teaspoon, pretty much. We're going to make it so that we can feed them a morning treat and an afternoon treat. Together, these hold 24 teaspoons. These also hold two cups of liquid. So we're going to put in 24 teaspoons of the sparkle. And then Amy found a wonderful treatment for her dog in terms of sardines that's really been helping with his itchiness. We started out using fish oil caplets like that we would take ourselves and um, Buster, they actually seem to be making Buster itchier. He's really sensitive to all kinds of things and so um, I thought well I'm gonna go with a whole food that um, will have a lot of fish oil in it and, and that should help him. So I buy cans of sardines and I give him one on top of his food in the morning and in the evening. And since then, his coat has been a lot better. His skin seems to be a lot less itchy. He's really glossy. He looks real nice. He used to have a lot of dandruff, and I don't see any of that anymore. So since we started this about two and a half or three weeks ago, he's really made a big improvement. So, And her dogs and cats have been mauling me trying to get to the <laughs> sardines. So we thought we would try making them treats that included the sardines, and that way all the pets can have a little fun. So, let's get going. So, you want to um, open up the sardines? All right. The 24 teaspoons <laughs> of this in. And let me tell you, this smells like, like sardines. sardines. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're going to fill this up to the point where it's uh, full to two cups with um, water, but you could also use chicken broth or vegetable broth or beef broth if your pets would like something like that. And probably salt free. I have to say, I don't smell the sardines now. No, I don't either. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Oh, but somebody does. Whoa. <laughs> I'm going to leave some for the dogs. <laughs> For the handles, we're using these little bone-shaped treats. Uh, they're called Pizza Bites. They're from Bark for Green. They're also um, human grade. There's no soy, no wheat, no corn products in them. Um, they smell delicious. I 
haven't tasted them, but uh, they smell fantastic. So we're just gonna set one in each of the um, treats and before we freeze them, and then we'll have little handles to pull them out. Are you back to help? This is the other cat. Oh, <laughs> Jed. Oh, she needs to one too. All right, perfect. Let's pop them in the freezer for about three hours. Sounds good. And then we'll be ready to snack. All right. Hey, as long as you're cooking and you have aprons on, you know, I'm hungry. <laughs> I think they're ready. <laughs>